Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keith and welcome to my view from the 40. Check this out. My beard's still here. You know what that means? It means that the Calgary Stampeders beat the Winnipeg Blue Bombers last week, just like I told you they would. The Ottawa Red Blacks beat the Hamilton Tiger Cats, just like I told you they would. And now they will clash in Edmonton at Commonwealth Stadium for the greatest prize of all, the Grey Cup. Now, before we get to the Grey Cup, we need to take a step back and we need to recognize and appreciate football here in Ottawa. I have a buddy of mine, doesn't matter what his name is, but a few years ago, he said to me, Keith, football's not going to last here. Football never lasts here. And you know what? Looking in the past, it wasn't great. But let's look at what's happened with the Ottawa Red Blacks in the five seasons that they've been in existence. 2014, inaugural year, terrible. 2015, went to the Grey Cup. 2016, won the Grey Cup. 2017, hosted the Eastern Semifinal. And now, 2018, they are going for the Grey Cup again. I think that really this is this this Ose group has laid the blueprint for how to, to develop how to develop and run a successful franchise. So congratulations to them. Now, as far as this game is concerned, this is really a terrible matchup for Ottawa for a, a lot of reasons. Let's go over them. First of all, there's one team that Ottawa did not beat all year, Calgary. There's one team that uh, Trevor Harris has not thrown a touchdown against all year. Calgary. There's a stadium that Ottawa does not tend to play very well in, Commonwealth. Calgary has lost the last two Grey Cups, and the last time a team lost three Grey Cups in, the row, in a row, you have to go back to the 1950s. You're also dealing with the fact that Calgary has the best defense in the league, and anyone will tell you that in football, defense wins championships. I don't believe Calgary's allowed a passing touchdown in the last two games. They didn't allow a touchdown at all in their last game. So all of those things make you think, okay, well, this is Calgary's game to lose. And with all due respect, it is. They're coming in as the favorites. They're playing in their backyard. A lot of things really work in Calgary's favor. But then you stop and you think to yourself, well, at one point, I'd never driven a car, and then I did. At one point, I'd never kissed a girl, and then I did. There are a lot of things that I never did, and then all of a sudden, I did them. So it's very possible that Ottawa can win this game. Calgary was a huge favorite when Ottawa beat them in 2016. That wasn't a factor. Calgary was a huge favorite last year when they played Toronto. And that wasn't a factor either. So we can take all of the stats, and they're important to look at, but you also have to understand that Grey Cup Sunday is something special. I think coming in as the underdog does give Ottawa somewhat of an advantage. And first of all, they have nothing to lose. And I always think when you have nothing to lose, you're more dangerous. And it also gives Ottawa the opportunity of opening up their playbook a lot more. Absolutely, Calgary's defense is not to be reckoned with. But our defense is pretty good as well. I will lay out the exact same game plan for Ottawa this week. It's quite simple. As much as I love Lewis Ward, uh, Rookie of the Year, Special Teams Player of the Year, he should not be touching the field a lot. I don't want to see field goals. They need touchdowns. That, that is a huge thing that Ottawa is going to need to do. They're, they're going to need to capitalize on, on their red zone offense. They're going to have to mitigate the penalties. And, and, and again, they're going to have to, you know, not only stay disciplined, but they're going to have to win the field possession game. If they're able to do those things, then they've got a chance. But this Calgary team is coming in hot. They're coming in angry and they're coming for the Grey Cup. One thing I can guarantee is that this is going to be a good game. I think these teams um, can match up well against each other. Um, whether or not they will on Sunday remains to be seen. I think there's a lot of weight on not just the shoulders of, of Trevor Harris, but on the shoulders of, Be of Bo Levi Mitchell as well. You don't really want to start going down the route of the Buffalo Bills, of course, the team that lost four Super Bowls in a row. People always say, oh yeah, it was great getting there, but you lost four in a row. So I'm excited for a great game. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Feel free to reach out to me, Twitter, CFL underscore fan, facebook.com slash witty wittier and witty wittier .com. Thank you so much for checking this out. My name is Keith, and that's my view from the 40.